Hi library friends, this is Miss Leanne from the Huntley Area Public Library. We're back with another fun craft video. Today we're going to be making some Play-Doh with only a couple items that you'll have at home. Just a quick disclaimer, this recipe does involve some hot water, so please grab a parent or an adult and let's get into the video. The ingredients you need to make Play-Doh. You're going to need one and a half cups of flour, half cup of salt, two teaspoons of cream tartar, two tablespoons of oil, so I use cooking oil, and then one cup of hot water, and then some food coloring. You're going to want to mix all your dry ingredients together first. So add the salt and the cream of tartar, and you mix. And then you're going to want to make a little hole in the middle of the bowl. And now this is where you're going to be using the hot water. So grab an adult or your parent. So I got my cup of hot water and then I got my two tablespoons of oil. So you're going to pour the oil in. Make sure you get all the oil in because we are going to use this bowl to put the play dough in. Then you're going to want to add your cup of hot water. Make sure you add it slowly so that it doesn't splash back. And then you're just going to use your spoon to stir it. You're going to stir it until all of the ingredients are incorporated. So I'm just using a plain old normal spoon. You can use a mixer if you want to, but that's just more to clean up later. So now you can see that the dough is the right texture. So now we're going to dust our table with a little bit more flour because we don't want the dough to stick to the table. And now this is the fun part. You're going to want to take all your dough out of your mixing bowl. and pop it right onto the flour. Alright. And then you're going to want to knead it. So you're going to fold it over and push down. Fold it over, push down. Knead it about 10 to 15 times. Or whenever you think your dough looks good. So the good thing about making your own dough is that you know all the ingredients that you're putting in the dough. So that seems about good. Now you're gonna roll your dough into maybe like a ball. And then you're gonna split it into however many colors you want your Play-Doh to be. So I'm going to make it into four different colors. The dough doesn't have to be even. If you want more of one color, then you 
take more out for that one color. Or if you want them to all be somewhat even, then you can take the same amount of all. Alright, and then you're going to take your food coloring. So right here I have the gel food coloring. So I got red, green, blue, and yellow food coloring. So I'm going to put a small dot into our So we're going to take the red one first. What you're going to do is you're just going to knead the color into it. And I would recommend having your kids wear um, an old t-shirt because you don't want to get the food coloring onto nice clothes or else it will stain the clothes. So this one's not going to be a red red, this one's going to be more of a pink. Now if you want to be more red red, you can just add more red food dye to it. As you can see, you're not going to get dough everywhere. It's either going to be sticking to their hand or to the dough itself. You can see that I got dough on my hands. All you're going to do is take the dough and it comes right off. So you got your blue, your green, your yellow, and your pink. Thanks for watching. Make sure you log on to HuntleyLibrary.org for all your digital content you have access to with your library card. Don't forget to check out our 2020 summer reading program by clicking the link on the Huntley Library website. You can track your daily reading goal by using our printable reading log.
and you can use the link to the Huntley Library Beanstack page for more activities and virtual badges. Both will earn you tickets to the grand prize raffle. We have a lot of fun grand prizes this year. We have Nintendo Switch Lite and $100 gift cards to Amazon Target, GameStop, Walmart, and Best Buy. So make sure you register for a summer reading at the Huntley Library Beanstack page through the Huntley Library website. We'll see you next time. Stay safe. Bye.